Hello, I'm Adam, and we're going to do another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. I've got a Movie Studios version of this coming out right after it, so uh, stay tuned because we're going to talk about how to fix background noise in your audio. So first, uh, we got to do a little lesson on audio. Um, so I'm going to make a new audio track here to show you something. and Let's rearrange these to make it less confusing. If I arm this for recording, you can see right here, I have a high ground floor. Now in Vegas currently there's no way to remove it if you're if you're uh, recording into this but what a ground floor is in audio is watch me stop talking for a second. See all that green that doesn't go away? That's room noise. That's like my computer fans going, just ambient air rushing around. Everything my mic's picking up is 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 that. Now for OBS, just let me show you how I fix that in uh, my actual recording. Look at that fractal there. In my actual recording, <clears throat> you see that my mic is turned down way low because watch this. It actually takes away my ground floor. When I'm not talking, you don't see anything. And that really dries up the audio. That, that means I'm only capturing my voice for the most part. Uh, and I'm not capturing a bunch of ambient room noise because if I want to hike up the volume I also hike up the volume of the room noise if I want to lower the volume I also lower the volume of the room noise so that's a little lesson about audio um, now now there's a hundred thousand more lessons about audio I would love to teach you and if you stick around we'll get there we're getting there um, but this lesson for today I just want you to know what a ground floor is now we're gonna talk about how to fix it you've recorded it wrong and you need to fix it so the first step to fixing it is just don't record your ground floor if possible but let's say you've messed up so let me delete this track because now I don't need it let's listen to this U, uh, which is the north bridge. So this is an important component. here's some things about it it's pretty quiet if you notice when you watch this For any build, me talking only kind of peaks the audio right here. If you didn't know, audio needs to go between six and nine when you're talking about your voice. Uh, music needs to go much lower. Uh, music probably needs to go around 24. But uh, six and nine is a great place for your voice to kind of be hitting. Between 12 and six, if possible. Uh, a lot of times your voice is going to have a lot of dynamic in it, though. And uh, it might go real close to peaking and then get real soft again and then real close to peaking. Depending on how you record it, there's a lot of factors in that. One way to fix that and to help reduce your ground floor is to use a compressor. Now, I kept mulling over how to do this video and the reason why is because I really don't feel like I can do compressors enough justification as a lesson. So I want to tell you that I'm going to show you how to use a compressor, how to effectively use a compressor, uh, in a way that's not going to make my audio technician friends uh, die inside. Uh, because because I do know a fair bit about audio, but compared to an audio technician, no. Uh, so let me let me show you let me show you something. So you go right here to this more button, this hamburger menu, and then you you. Uh, uh, go to track effects, sorry, and then on all your track effects, you have three tracks preloaded. You have your track noise, you have your track EQ, and you have your track compressor. I'm going to have to teach you about EQ another day. We're not getting you doing EQ today. However, there are some tricks with EQ that I might touch on at the end of the video, but all in all, this is not going to be an EQ tutorial. This is uh, not going to be a track noise gate tutorial either. Just leave this alone track compressor. This is what we're going to do. So uh, one of the reasons, oh I didn't take the compressor off. Let me show you it with the compressor off. It still is called a Southbridge in the text textbooks, but uh, no one's really actively calling it Southbridge anymore. Uh, this is the chipset that the motherboard... Do you hear that? Let me... I'm going to turn it up just a little bit so you can hear it. The board really runs off of and then the rest of the, your computer will be running off your CPU, uh, which is the Northbridge. So that's the ground noise I'm talking about right there. That's really, really the problem. If I turn up the volume on that, so this is an important component. I turn up the whine. It's going on. I'm just using the camera audio, and it did not turn out well. 
So I need to do is dry this up before I do anything. So I'm going to bring this back to zero or close to zero for now. And then I'm going to uh, turn my computer volume back down a little bit because I want you to be able to hear it, but uh, I don't want it to blast through the recording every single time I press play. So it's a little difficult to do an audio tutorial, by the way, because uh, everything I'm doing is going to be manipulated again when I edit this tutorial, and then it's going to be manipulated again as it uploads to YouTube, and then manipulated again as it uh, uh, goes through your speakers or headphones and uh, through your volume and stuff like that. So uh, the chances of you getting what I'm hearing right now are slim, uh, no matter how much effort I put into it. That's that's how audio works. So. I want to make sure that the room noise, the hack behind everything's taken out. I need to lower the ground floor, so I need to go to the track effects. And then, so I already had a compressor on it. For, um, for this one, I'm going to use the 151 compression. I find this is the best preset compression that uh, does a great job of getting rid of, getting rid of uh, background noise. Now, there are other compressions you can experiment with. Use the one that works best with your audio. I'm not going to suggest that you mess with these sliders much. I'm going to show you how to mess with them a little bit, but not much. And here's why. Because uh, uh, audio people really know how to use compressors and noise gates and things like that. They're, they're great about it. Uh, here, for today, if you're not an audio professional, uh, the starting point here is just work with these presets. Let let Vegas help you help you a little bit. So this preset right here, we're gonna hear again how much it helps. This is a quick installation guide versus without it. And guide. So that we need to get rid of that still, and so with it. It's a little better, but not that much better. So what I want to do, remember how I talked about it's the volume that uh, I'm, when I'm turning it up, I'm turning up everything. So right now I need to get the input volume down, way down, and I'm going to see what that does. Much better. I'm going to turn it down even more. much better that room noise is almost gone right now that smacking is just uh, uh, the uh, quirk of, of this not being fully edited yet so don't worry about that smack it'll do it whenever you press play so to see how choked down the audio is that choking really helps get rid of the background noise now So this, this right here, it doesn't quite, it's not loud enough, right? We, I told you it needs to be between six and nine, and we're not there. So I highly recommend if you're a first time builder, just grab somebody who's done it before. So we need to up the output game. Have them help you with my first build. It makes all the difference in the world. So, or you can watch one of our tech tech videos. Of Much video better. So look at that. We're already drying up the audio a lot. Just by just by picking a compressor and then lowering the input gain and taking up the output gain to kind of return it back. So now the volume's kind of in the middle. I'm going to be done with the compressor now because the more I touch the output gain here, the more I'm kind of pulling back some of the background noise as well. So what I'm going to do is kind of find a nice happy medium between the actual volume on this slider right here. This will handle volume as well. See? Possibly build your computer if you've never done it before. And so, uh, I highly recommend if you're a first time builder, just grab somebody who's done it before. Have them help you in that first build. I turned it up all the way, as you see. And it's still only really topping out at 12, between 12 and 24. That'd be great if it was background music or something, but it's not. Oh, I'll get Ooh, all the Okay, that, that massive pop there, that's just something that Vegas is live rendering this and so it's kind of catching that and squelching everything that you're you're doing so the first little pop like I said that's not um, how it's actually gonna render out so you don't need to worry about that it just might hurt your ears sometimes if you're not careful so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into the effect on the track 
and we're going to up this volume a little bit more. Mm, this has enough information to possibly build your computer. We're almost there. Up it a little bit more. If you've never done it before. Uh, however, uh, I highly recommend if you're a first time. We're almost there. A little bit more. Time builder. Just grab somebody who's done it before. Have them help you in that first build. It makes all the difference in the world. Okay, so that's good enough for me there. Uh, but I want to. I'm gonna have to put the input gain down a little more. This is a quick installation guide. Let's see. Let's see what information this actually has. On it. Mm, this has enough information to possibly build your computer if you've never done it before. Uh, however, uh, I highly recommend if you're a first-time builder, just grab somebody who's done it before, have them help you in that first build. It so that's a lot of uh, change. So let's listen to it without any of that. We'll still leave the volume up for kicks and giggles. You hear that room noise? And now we're going to listen to it again. Much better. But it's still there. I've done it before. Uh, however, another trick to hiding room noise. Now, you can't fix it, fix it, unless you're just an absolute genius or you have better tools. It's not that Vegas doesn't have the better tools. It's just that, that this is, it, to do something more than that, you're getting into very, very advanced techniques, uh, things that, that aren't something you're normally going to get into as a video editor. Uh, but that is a huge difference. See how low my ground floor is now? It's not overwhelming the rest of the audio. So to fix it again, uh, one thing I need to do is I can actually take the master volume up. Now that possibly turns your everything up. Never done it before. Uh, however, uh, I highly recommend if you're a first time builder, just grab somebody who's done it before. There we go. And I'm getting closer to that six to nine. So I'm going to settle for this video being a little quieter. One thing I can do, though, well, mm, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go all the way. So I'm going to turn this back down. That's kind of a last dish scenario. I'm going to show you more stuff you can do. Right click to this right here. Go to uh, apply audio effect, and we're going to go to graphic EQ add, and we're going to add graphic dynamics add. Okay, I'm really going to do this here. So uh, in the graphic EQ. Uh, have somebody who's done it before. Again, that pop is going to go away. Have them help you in that first build. It makes all the difference in the world. So, or you can watch one of our tech tech videos, a build guide about how to do it. We can be those people for you. Comes with zip ties and some rubber stoppers. For... All right. So now with this output gain, I've got it to the right. Is the I/O shield? Again, that big pop right there. That was just uh, it messing up because it's squelching it after I press play. And that's what comes in the box. For so now I'm between my six and nine. The audio still sounds much better, but it's not quite there yet. One thing I want to do is I want to drop the highs and the ultra lows. Now, your sound, your, your sound is not going to be hugely manipulated on these areas because these are the ultra highs and the ultra lows your your voice sits somewhere around here and you don't want to touch your voice when you're doing this kind of correction we're not trying to warm your voice or cool your voice or whatever we're, what we're trying to do is get get the audio back to back to not back it was never there get the audio in a place that's not annoying right so we're gonna try and take some of the hiss out so this is a little bit of hiss and this is a little bit of a thump going in the background so we're just getting the ultra lows and the ultra highs possibly build your computer if you've never done it before uh, however uh, see how it sounds like I'm in a tin can right now that's what you want to avoid have them help you in that first build. It makes all the difference in the world. So, or you can watch one of our tech tech videos, a build guide about how to do it. We can be those people for you. Comes with zip ties and some rubber stoppers. For... Two black SATA cables. I love how they're all black now. They used to always be red or yellow. 
some crazy color, but the black ones look good. And here is the IO shield. And that's what comes in the box for the MSI Bazooka B450. So one thing I am going to do is I am going to turn this down a little bit more. Because I think it, I think I overshot it just a little bit. First, first. Two black SATA cables. I love how they're all black now. They used to always be red or yellow. Some crazy color, but the black ones Now, are we're going to get rid of the graphic Here dynamics. The IO we ended up not needing that. Uh, but that would be a way to make it even louder if you needed to. Now, they used to always be red or yellow some crazy color but the black ones look good and here is the all right so it takes a good long listen to really hear how it's gonna play out go to some of the louder parts some of the bigger sign uh, uh, audio waves in your thing and chest those so or you can watch one of our tech tech videos a build guide about how to do it we can be those people for you all right so so here's here's I'm gonna say is I think we did it so this is like I said it didn't make the audio amazing it didn't make the audio just perfect movie quality but what I did is take something that went and was too quiet and I made it loud enough to hear without the hiss driving you crazy so it's a little more palatable to possibly build your computer if you've never done it before I would say more than a little more palatable I would say it's a lot more palatable so that's that's uh, how to fix your audio for um, anything else so another audio control I hadn't mentioned is your gain here uh, gain is different than volume but it does help get rid of background noise a little bit if you reduce some of your gain this is a quick installation. And that's also a great way to kind of make sure that you're, if you're peaking, you can kind of lower it a little bit from online. Um, and make and sure that you're not peaking anymore. So uh, if you have more clips with the same, more clips with the same problems, remember the track effects apply to everything on the track. So this compressor is going to already apply to this you can kind of match the volume level here to go ahead and get that out of the way but you're gonna notice static doesn't usually kill components it's still quieter to possibly build your computer because I don't have the effect on it so I can go right click to this one and go copy and then to select this one right click and hit paste event attributes and that will paste the effect on there a mini ATX motherboard um, or micro I'm sorry this is a micro ATX motherboard and that will increase the volume so like I said this one's a bit quieter uh, then I really want I'm gonna mess with the master volume one more time to see 50 M chipset motherboard oh I forgot it also has a still yet powerful uh, again I'll... those pops just because I'm moving it around and then it squelches it after I move it around that will not be in the final render uh, but still yet powerful. Uh, I'm not looking to win the giant computer award. All right, so it's still quiet. It's still quieter than I want it to be. I really want it to be in that six to twelve. But uh, I really hate that crackling more. So I'd rather force someone to turn up their speakers just a little bit more and hide that crackling uh, than to leave more of that crackling on the video that's going to make it to YouTube. So I am settled on. Um, that's how I'm gonna fix this audio for this, for this project. And I want to take you along with me for the ride. Uh, we'll do a similar tutorial in movie studios shortly. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh wait, yes, I have. I'm working on Udemy tutorials. So keep a watch on those. Those are gonna be more uh, how to edit uh, stylistically in the Vegas platform. So more about how editing works and how to be an editor. Uh, less about where the buttons are and stuff like that but it's gonna have plenty plenty of Vegas information and stuff like that as well as like what a J cut is and all sorts of fun stuff so that's it for today uh, like if this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more thanks for watching I'll see you next time